Okay, 4 and 0. Let's uh, grab the pawn here. So why is it kind of important to know what stage you're at, what phase you're at? You know, are you in the opening? Are you in the mid game? Are you in the end game? I think for me it's important because you don't know what the opponent, what phase they're at. And if they come blasting out right at the very beginning, they're almost basically in the end game and they're wanting to end the game as quickly as possible. And if you're still stuck in the opening stage, you could be caught short. And you end up getting sucker punched because you're not ready. You don't know you're actually in the game until it's too late. So let's take this here. And let's castle. So you can be one of those types of players that um, comes out all ferocious on purpose, you know, so that the opponent doesn't get settled. But you have to be mindful. You don't really know what mindset the opponent has got already. You know, they might be actually in their own end game. Bishop's blocked in a little bit. Well, let's get some of these pawns pushed up. Let's push this one up here. Yeah, so it's it's that knowledge of knowing what phase you're at that helps you to understand, well, okay, this is what I need to do. It helps make the decisions, you know, for you. So we're now basically in the mid game here. So we need to find good position on the board in order to prepare for an, an, a, a more robust attack. So our king's got nice air now, can start making its way up, start attacking the pawns up the side. And he's looking to double down here, but let's get the king up. Like we said, just push, 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 get the pressure on there, just support that pawn. Okay, nothing happening there. Let's just go push the king. Let's take. Still nothing happening there. I mean, he can do this if we take, then his rook takes, so that might be something. So we could move, but then he takes the pawn, but then we can take his pawn, but then he takes our rook. Right, so can we still move the king? Oh, we're too late to the party. I think he's getting the either way, isn't he? Hmm. Slick Rick. If we attack, his rook's probably going to attack. Give him something to think about. Let's just attack it. Give them something. They might just ignore it and just come down and attack anyway. Because that's better. Because we're not going to take and then he's going to hit the rook. He's not actually done that. So I'm trying to stealthily get across here, but it's not going to work. Well, I can't go there, but here. No, he's not done it. I think they would have been probably better doing that, wouldn't they? So we go here. He might still be in time. Oh, he is. Get the king here anyway. At least we've got three pieces on there. Yeah, I think they lost a little bit of tempo there. That pawn move I don't think should have been made. He might put a check on our king. No, he's not. Let's take. So it looks like we're going to take charge of this area here. And our pawns are further up the board. So this king's going to have to think about that. Can't move my king here, but does he get around the back and oh, blocks him off, doesn't he? And he's got a poor majority here. Uh, yes, if I go here, Magic can't go there, he goes there. Well, I can push it all the way up, can't I? Yeah, push it all the way up now, I can't stop that. I was worried for a second, I thought his king could get around and block us. And then he would charge down with these pawns. So they're probably going to resign now. Or maybe not. Okay, fair enough. Start coming for some pawns. Get a check on. Let's take some off. Take this off. Take this off. Uh, let's take it as well. Going for a stalemate now. Let him have all this centre here. Oh, they're just going to wait out the time. Yep, 
Yeah, so knowing the phase at which you're at, I think it is definitely key. Everybody's opinion on where, the, what the opening is, when it ends, when the mid game starts, and when it ends, and when the end game starts. It's it's all different. It's subjective. It's how your makeup is, what your style of play is, um, that really determines those key phases. So I think once you understand what your phases are in each individual game, then you might improve the development of your pieces better and also being able to read the opponent while well, trying to read the opponent anyway and to assess what stage they're currently at. Being mindful to all those things and the quick and dirty tactics type stuff, it's got its place because if the opponent is asleep, then obviously you can take advantage of the gaps and spaces that they've allowed you to take. So there's nothing wrong with those, it's just if you're playing somebody who is of equal knowledge to yourself or better, then you've wasted all that lovely movement by leaving empty spaces, going for a shallow attack basically with the quick and dirty tactics, your position's not right and you've got no follow on defence or counter defence, anything. So it's being very careful when you're doing those types of things in your opening you, everybody wants to finish a chess game quickly. Yeah, no matter who you are, you want to finish the chess game quickly. 